Investigators say this prominent doctor killed his wife and made it look like an accident. I like good fiction too. But his attorney, Ed Mankin, doesn't buy it. During an 18-month investigation, prosecutors say they found evidence indicating Dr. Newlander moved his wife's body and changed the sheets to hide physical evidence. How do they know that? I, 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 would, I would suspect that that's their position because they can't prove anything else. And I think they're going to have a very hard time proving that theory. At the press conference yesterday, District Attorney Bill Fitzpatrick also said the Newlanders were going through a divorce. I think it's common knowledge, and certainly in the community, that they were in the process of, of uh, being divorced. They were sleeping in separate bedrooms in the house. Another false claim, Mankin says he plans to dispute at trial. The Newlanders were not going through divorce proceedings. I'm not going to say anything more about it except that's definitely not true. Walking hand in hand with his family into court, Dr. Newlander pleaded not guilty at his arraignment. And Mankin is confident a jury will believe he's innocent. In, in 40 years of criminal practice, I have never had a client whose innocence I believe in more firmly than him. And besides all of that, he's simply a great guy and he's a good friend.